What's up, everybody? Welcome to today's episode of the Comeback Podcast with Mark Jennison, the original comeback, the creator of this movement, the man that's going to help you change your life. Listen, today's topic. Why can't you just stop? That question maybe came from your wife, maybe your grandmother, maybe your dad, maybe your son, maybe, I don't know, maybe from yourself, right? Day in and day out, I used to wrangle with this question inside of my mind. Why can't you just stop? Just put it down. And I would tell myself, and I would tell the people who asked me this questions, because it's just, if it was that easy, I could just do it. And the truth is, it was a mask. That wasn't even my opinion. That was what society had told me. Watching, reading, getting on Google, calling it rehabs, in and out of all the shit that I've been through. Like, they made me real, they made me believe that it was so fucking difficult for me to get control of my thoughts, my emotions, my actions, that I started believing, hey, I'm a fucking victim. I, if it, I, need, I need to admit that I'm powerless. I need to give up on my life. I need to just not drink for today. I shouldn't run a business. I can't worry about my kids. I can only worry about myself. Why can't you just stop? And you wrangle with that question because, see, the truth is the loved ones that are asking you this and even yourself that's asking yourself this question, you truly want to stop. They want you to stop. You want better. You need to understand this today. It is a choice. I do not give a fuck what AA, what doctors, and I'll tell you this, I've got doctors inside of my program that I work with every single day who go and they tell people that it's a disease and then come to me and tell me it's not a disease because they can't wrap their minds around the fact that, hey, I'm not powerless. I'm a doctor. I went to med school. I've saved millions of people's lives. I just have something incongruent in my life that is throwing me off. So if I have a doctor who's coming there telling, telling their clients this, then coming to me and asking for this, what does that tell me? That tells me that I'm onto something here. I'm not the smartest man and neither are you and you don't have to be. But what you have to do is be the control, the master of your fate, and decide it's a choice. The reason I wanted to touch base on this today and I'm just gonna fire it at you is because you're choosing to live the victim mentality. It is difficult to go through withdrawals. It's even scary. And here's the point. And here's something that you should do. If you're at the point where you're withdrawing, puking, shaking, whatever, it is real. That's it. Go get a detox. But you don't have to go through the rest of the fucking course of your life thinking you're a victim. You don't have to be fucking admitting you're powerless. You don't have to go hang out in church basements. And I'm not, if that is for you, literally you should probably hang off, get off this. But if you want today to figure out how to get control of it, it's really this simple. Just fucking stop. It's not that you can't, it's that you won't. Because it's your identity. You're afraid of what lies on the other side of it. Can I have any fun? Will I be bored? What am I going to do with all my time? What's going to happen when I have to really deal with these emotions, these angers? When I peel this back and I actually put down the alcohol and the drinking, what is going to happen when I have to face life without alcohol? Will I even be able to manage my business? Look, I can tell you this. For years and years and years, I thought the same fucking thing. I thought that it was my, I thought that that was my superpower. I literally thought that the more I drank, the more I did, there was a time in my life that I would make more money. I would close deals uh, over drinks, just like you. I would take my employees out for drinks Fridays afternoon and go get some beer, have one of the guys go and get beer. And I thought it was just routine to what I did. I'm not telling you that you have to quit alcohol at all. What I'm telling you is you have to make a choice to get control of your life, control of your mind, control of your actions, control of your emotions. Ultimately, whether you're doing it for yourself, whether you're doing it for your kids, whether you're doing it for your wife, your future, whatever it is, you owe it to the world. You owe it to yourself to give it one shot and see what it's like to be in control of your fucking life. So the question I have for you today is, why can't you just stop? Because the truth is, it's truly that simple. Listen, hey, that's that's it for today on the Comeback Podcast. Just a very, very short one. I just wanted to jump on here, make this video for you guys. If you're interested in learning a little bit more, you're welcome to go to iamacomeback.com forward slash apply. Um, there's an application. You can talk with us. If not, you can check us out on Facebook. Get in. We've got free programs. We've got many different things. But what I'd like you to do is just do something. And today that something is make a fucking choice. Have a great day. I'm a comeback.